Okay, um, let's continue uh, explaining um, uh, some computerized computing tasks, uh, the basis of uh, this kind of task, um, and it's uh, focused on uh, cognitive and, and motor exercises. This is the outline of the presentation. Uh, I will start with uh, an introduction to neuropsychology and an introduction to computerized tasks. Then uh, I will explain some examples and the. No. Um, uh, some examples, sorry. And um, some information extra about the experimental protocols. Then I will perform a comparison, a comparison between different software tools to perform um, a comput computerized task. Then I will I will do a, a short tutorial to Sikopai and we will be able to, to perform a task um, uh, to design a computerized task that is the same task that then uh, in the afternoon in the hands-on training um, the same time that uh, Marta uh, will analyze at the same task that uh, we perform a short um, demonstration. So uh, this afternoon uh, we will use the, um, the Unicore uh, CAP, that is um, an EG amplifier uh, oriented to um, uh, to scholarship. Uh, we use it. We use it uh, on the on the master degree in our our subjects. And and so for this reason, I need a voluntary. So uh, <laughs> if uh, I, uh, someone is interesting, uh, say me in the coffee, because uh, in order to, to be more, more agile, um, uh, we come, uh, we will come on uh, 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 two, two thirty more or less. Uh, we configure all the um, the e cap, and then at three o'clock when everybody uh, is coming, uh, we can uh, perform the demo and then the hands-off training with with Marta. So. If there are some volunteers, uh, it's welcome. Um, let's continue. Hi. Sorry. Um, we start with, with an introduction to neuropsychology, and there are some some questions uh, when you are uh, concerning neuropsychology. Uh, there are some some common questions. For example, what mechanisms are responsible for human thinking, uh, learning, or emotion, or how these how do these mechanisms operate, or what are the effects of changes in brain states uh, upon human behavior? So, the neuropsychology uh, is the science that uh, studies the relationship between brain functions and behavior, and the classical uh, overview of neuropsychology is divided in two main issues clinical neuro neuropsychology and experimental neuropsychology clinical neuropsychology deals uh, with patients who have lesions of the brain for example uh, uh, for uh, do it for defects of tumors uh, as a um, result of physical damage for example an um, accident um, uh, some, for some trauma. It also uh, measures the deficit in intelligence, personality, or sensory motor, fun sensory motor functions that they are related uh, some dot, um, they are related with uh, some uh, different affected areas. So uh, clinical neuropsychology is more oriented to practical clinical purpose, okay, uh, in order to uh, to perform some diagnosis of brain lesion uh, in order to, to try to rehabilitate uh, the brain in user patients. The other, the other uh, issue is the experimental neuropsychology that uh, it deals with uh, healthy subjects normally uh, with normal brains. In this case, it's focused on uh, their measures or uh, is try to, to extract some features uh, related related uh, with the accuracy of uh, the performance of a task, with the speed of the response for a cognitive task, 
um, of this kind of uh, measure related to uh, a performance task or a cognitive task, a motor task. So it's important uh, that this kind of uh, in this in this uh, experimental neuropsychology uh, to have uh, simultaneously records or registers of the uh, electrophysiological variables and the clinical uh, fi uh, psycho psychological um, filters. So uh, it's important to have uh, this this both bo both uh, kind of, of data and uh, we can perform some correlation and then. Um, as I can say, this is the classical view of uh, neuropsychology, but um, in, the, in the last years, uh, in the last decades, there are um, another current that um, between both uh, of them uh, main, uh, main issues. It is the behavioral neuro neurology. So experimental neurology is not only focused on healthy subjects or uh, with normal brain, uh, you can perform some uh, different uh, tasks to patients. Uh, at, it opens um, uh, a lot of possibilities in order to characterize, to, diagn to diagnose, uh, or to uh, characterize different uh, diseases of different uh, brain disorders. Uh, we we are engineers, uh, engineers, or uh, the majority of uh, the person that we are here are engineers. So. Uh, as engineers, how can deal this clinical? Um, how can we deal with clinical and experimental neuropsychology? And here, <clears throat> we we have a, a, a funny a funny image. Uh, so, uh, clinical neuropsychology is more related with the uh, with this kind of of image, uh, where we have an. Um, uh, an structural image of the brain, for example, and uh, experimental neuropsychology is more related with the other one, uh, which which brain areas are related with some functions, for example, sleep, donuts, sex, uh, sweet beer. Okay. So, uh, how can uh, we um, achieve this kind of uh, uh, issues, clinical and experimental ne neuropsychology? Um, uh, with the uh, magnetic resonance image, we can obtain brain structures. Uh, we can uh, achieve uh, um, the anatomy of the of the brain, for example. And with resting state uh, EEG, we can also characterize the electrical activity of the brain, and we can uh, perform some uh, different um, uh, measures or uh, to obtain different features. But on the other, on the other hand, um, functional magnetic resonance image uh, is related with the study of brain functions, and uh, it is characterized by the changes, detecting the changes in blow through, and ERPs, uh, even related potentials, uh, uh, also uh, is relationing with the functional electrical changes uh, in the brain uh, due to a, to a task. Uh, the same analogy, for example, we can perform it uh, with the with a map of, of paths. So the magnetic resonance image, or in this case um, DTI, um, could uh, give us the ways, the highways. For example, this map is the highways in Spain. If I would like to go from Barcelona to Valladolid, that is a very good place. Uh, you can you can select um, some some way to to go uh, to go there, but um, this map of of uh, ways uh, does not give you any information about the traffic. Okay, so functional magnetic resonance image, image and uh, even real potential gives you this information about the tra the, tra the traffic. Okay, is the difference between. Uh, Anatomy or structure, and then functional. Uh, um, and this this example is very is very interesting and uh, always always works well. <laughs> so uh, in this table, um, I there are um, a summary of the the main uh, aspects of the this kind of uh, measures: uh, magnetic resonance image. There are, uh, it's focus on X structure. 
here electric activity um, a resting state here electric electrical activity uh, due to a, a performing a task this is the blow is an indirect measure uh, the functional magnetic image is an indirect measure because uh, is the the it measures the the, the flow of the of the blood is the two the two main parameters the temporal resolution and the spatial resolution uh, MRI has the best spatial resolution but uh, a poor time resolution magnetic uh, functional magnetic resonance um, has relative good uh, temporal resolution and relative good um, spatial uh, resolution and in the other, on the other case resting state EEG and ERPs has excellent time resolutions but for spatial resolution so uh, all of them uh, it's difficult to say what is the best the best option no is uh, there are there aren't the best option and there are another another aspect related to the cost uh, magnetic resonance image is very is very expensive the portability okay this is the 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 main the main supporters of the EEG uh, the the portability at uh, the cost and some applications um here was uh, uh to detect some abnormalities of the brain in the, in the structures here uh resting state is used for sleep for epilepsy to detect some um interictal uh, states for cognition as well and uh if uh, functional magnetic resonance image and even red potentials uh, are using uh, for for characterize the functional uh, 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 behavior of the of the um, of the brain so for this reason uh, we focus on uh, on ERPs but uh, these computerized ties can be applied as well to uh, ephemeral functional magnetic resonance image um, only uh, only one thing uh, because this is a repetitive uh, <laughs> slice <clears throat> but uh, the the main point of the EEG is that um, their temporal resolution gives the gives uh, the opportunity to uh, to to study brain functions uh, such as memory vision intelligence motor imagery emotion perception recognition decision making uh, so it's a, a very 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 good um point to, for the eeg and there are a lot of disorders that uh this kind of um of brain functions are are uh the target is, is the, the target is the this this kind of brain functions in this um diseases so <clears throat> um when we are thinking on uh design a computer a computer studies a task um, we are working uh, we are uh, thinking about the equipment cost the time to perform the registers uh, then it's necessary to perform uh, I have said for example 20 at least 20 patients uh, the setup of this recording uh, of the EE then the data collection depending of the of the task of the number of trials um, so this this um and then of course clean the artifact filter segment obtain some features perform a statistical analysis so the the sport is very 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 uh high for this reason it's very important to uh, perform a good design of the experiment design because if we um we are thinking to focus on only uh, the analysis of the data but we don't focus on the design of the experiments then we can um, we can obtain uh, mistaken results or we can obtain uh, we can fail to answer the, the the hypothesis so it's very important to uh, take uh, to pay attention on the design of the experiment this is the the motivation of of this uh of this slide um what are the um, the the key points for a good design of the experimental task here uh if you look in for internet it says it's simple as possible 
uh, to test a specific hypothesis. This is a, a very good point. Minimum cost um, uh, that enables and different platforms, uh, including the, plat the planning for that analysis. This all is so happy, no? And so it's uh, some key points that it's very important, but there are no no non specifics. So uh, then we will kind uh, try to 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 focus on 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 more the particularities. Other important issue when you are working uh, or when you are planning to perform computerized tasks is that uh, you require to use humans. So there is a problem when you uh, experiment with humans. Uh, there is a problem because uh, it generates uh, different ethical, legal, political, and monetary concerns. Instead, um, there are no severe health-related issues uh, reported um, with with the EEG, but uh, is is the is the same because it's necessary to pass uh, for the clinical research ethics committee. This committee is composed by uh, medical, scientists, non-medical, non-scientist members, and their responsibility is to ensure the protection of their rights, the safety and the well-being of the human su subjects involved in the, um, in the clinical trial. So uh, when your study passed the ethical committee, uh, it means that uh, you can ensure that uh, this experimental research protects the rights, the dignity, and the well-being of the human participants. It is also necessary to uh, to have a, a subject's informed consent, that is the also known as a voluntary agreement. Um, this document um, provides uh, the subjects uh, the opportunity to consider their options. Um, and finally, they can refuse the participation of the in the in the in the study. Uh, it's it is very important because uh, this document uh, needs to ensure that the subject uh, has comprehend all the information of the of the document. Right? And this is especially serious when when children well children or disabled subjects are involved. And what are the five elements uh, that compose uh, or the three key points of the informed consent? Uh, it's necessary to include the nature of the procedure. It's necessary to include the risk and, and the benefits of this procedure. Uh, it needs to explain uh, reasonable alternatives, okay, and the risk and benefits of these alternatives. And uh, it's very important to remark that the patient understand all the elements from one to five to four. Okay, for this reason, I think I think that uh, this document uh, ensures that the subject has all the information. The subject or uh, their responsibility, for example, they can give theirs or I guess, uh, um, or them. So um, we pass the introduction to the. Um, um, introduction to the um, computerized task and uh, we uh, I, I will explain um, the experimental protocols normally when you uh, are designing uh, or planning to perform um, uh, a, a, a e register using a um, computerized task you need to have a, a, a amplifier amplifier you need to have um, some equipment to perform the the to launch the the, the stimuli. You can it can see uh, audio stimuli, visual stimuli, or other sensory stimuli. But it's necessary to have uh, all the all the all the stuff. Um, the subject is necessary to have um, uh, relaxed uh, in a in a good position. Uh, for example, if uh, it's important to mark if it's necessary to have the eyes closed or eyes open, uh, similar to that. The, the recording room um, must be a quiet room. Um, the equipment um, should be adapted to the, the type of, of task, for example, the, the homes, the screen, the distance to the screen, uh, the decibels of the sound. This, all these measures, uh, all these, all these uh, little um, variables that are uh, is necessary to be controlled. 
the stimuli presentation device, uh, there are uh, another kind of features um, that is necessary to configure, the number of trials, the inter-stimulus inter interval, the difference between different stimulus, if it is necessary user response, uh, how is this user response, uh, clicking the mouse, uh, pushing a, a button, um, looking for, uh, for example, with an eye tracking, looking for uh, uh, the screen, uh, different kind of responses. Uh, about the e amplifier as well, uh, it is important the number of channels. If he has, uh, it has uh, auxiliary auxiliary data, for example, uh, electrocolorogram dat data. Uh, if it could be synchronized with um, with the experiment design uh, program uh, software, if it's allowed to to perform simultaneous um, analysis with e EMG muscular um, muscular analysis with the TMES with uh, simultaneous data, EEG and uh, functional resonance image data. Uh, this, these issues that are important. As, as, as yesterday, uh, Joan says, it depends on the budget. <laughs> and finally, uh, then was the uh, data processing that um, in this, in this uh, workshop, uh, we are focused, we are very focused on uh, data processing. So it is not uh, the, the main point. Which types, uh, which kind of uh, stimulus um, we can we can have? Um, we can um, cluster them in three main uh, categories: uh, sensory stimuli, cognitive stimuli, uh, stimuli, stimuli, or motor stimuli. Uh, sensor sensory stimuli uh, is an event that produces a specific functional reaction. Uh, in a person, okay, in a organisms controlled by the brain, so in 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 a, in a human, which kind of different um, sensory uh, stimuli uh, we can have? Auditory stimuli, for example, isolated tones, uh, musical keys, speech, uh, or phonemes, uh, like uh, like like uh, Elena and, and and Gemma explains us. Visual stimuli, for example, pictograms, face or animal images. Uh, abstract painting uh, or some other uh, kind of um, of orders, audiovisual stimuli that combines both uh, auditory and visual uh, systems, for example, movies, uh, musical videos, or virtual reality. That is the one of the the the, um, the issues that uh, will improve in well, not right now, but in the future. And there are another stimuli. Uh, that involve other sensory inputs like uh, touch, taste, or smell. That there are um, there are the less common. For example, here we can say that two percent of the of the um, emotional stimuli that are the, another kind of sensory stimuli. Related to the cognitive uh, events, um, it could measure attention, uh, how quick how quickly and effectively. Uh, we can attend to a new stimulus, and there are some potential associated, for example, the N200 or the PT100. The memory, and you can monitorize different phases of the memory processing, encoding, consolidation, and retrieval. And uh, some potential related with the memory is the N400, uh, uh, language processing as well, decision making. Uh, there are a lot of tasks, there are some tasks that. Um, there are more than one um, cognitive event related, for example. Um, more of them, you need attention, you need uh, decision making, um, or sometimes memory as well. So uh, there are uh, these different kind of, if you are focused only on one of these uh, brain function, it's not, it's not easy because there are all, all of them that are very correlated. And also, uh, we can uh, the reinfusion of emotion. Okay, that uh, in this case the late positive potential. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, very interesting. Uh, related to the motor events, um, I have uh, separate uh, in different categories. Uh, the first for the preparation of planning of the of this motor event. Uh, in this case, the this potential is impossible to me to, <laughs> to 
to say the but it's well I, I i can try and it is related with the um, preparation of a motor act activity and also también with the decision making um the uh, the contingent negative variation uh on also the, P the pc hundred the pc hundred here I can indicate that it's after the stimulus, but it's after the um, the order stimulus. But sometimes it's is before the movement. For 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 this reason, it's including in this category that is preparation and planning because it's after the the stimuli when you pre the stimulus present on on the screen, for example. But it's uh, before the the perform on the of the movement. Another uh, kind of uh, motor events related with uh, movement execution uh, on, as the movement related cortical potential that uh, this afternoon we will work with this kind of potential with, with Marta in the half of training. Uh, red, readiness uh, potential. Okay. Uh, we can also measure uh, some uh, error detection and correction. In this case, the the error related negativity is an uh, interesting task. This is when you are um, you have an error and then you correct this error. This is the uh, potential that appears when you correct uh, an error. And also uh, related with motor events, um, uh, there are uh, some some tasks related with the VC application. In this case, uh, um, the the next um, the next sessions we uh, uh, our our partner Athorin will explain uh, much better uh, this kind of of potential uh, in this case um, there are for example a potential that is very interesting that is uh, action observation training that is a potential that appears when when um, a person with some brain function damage is observing how other person is perform a movement and only for observe this this kind of movement um, um perform some um uh improves the the, the brain activity and uh i also uh include an annex to these uh three groups that is the virtual reality because um it's an emerged forward full tool that uh that simul simultaneously engage multiple sensor uh motor and cognitive and and it it could uh, be a target to different uh, brain functions. And it is very, very interesting. And uh, in the future, uh, they, uh, the virtual reality will uh, improve uh, a lot. Different experimental protocols, uh, different examples. For example, in this case, uh, we have an auditory three stimulus oddball paradigm. In this case, uh, we have an extract, uh, a standard tone that is the more frequent. 60% of the tones are the standard. Then we have the target tone, that is the target is the tone where the subject um, needs to, to press a button, but uh, there are a distractor tone uh, that has the same uh, uh, proportion, um, the same uh, occur occurrence to the target. And all of these um, all of these tones are uh, random. Um, presented in this case when we when we uh, are working with this uh, this task it's important to take in account the baseline window before the stimulus and the responding window for the uh, target ones or also we can uh, consider the uh, the standard of the distractor but we are normally we are focused on the on the target Sometimes we analyze the standard on the, of the of the distractor in order to compare the, um, the target condition with uh, another kind of condition. And this is the interstimulus uh, time. Another kind of uh, examples, uh, for example, the go no go task. Uh, you you have information about the the target uh, uh, and when it appears you press a button or you're uh, doing some 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 instruction follow some instruction another kind of task for example is the mental rotation uh, it appears to figures and you have to say if the if the figure if both figures are the same or not the same okay 
Uh, normally, it's the same. Uh, it's, it's, there are two 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 features to 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 um, to modify this kind of figure. Is uh, one is the um, I don't know how to say, it. and the other is the is, is it is a, mo a mirror image or no mirror ima image? It is yes, um, rotative. Is the rotation? I oh, sorry. And the other is the is it, if it is a mirror image or no mirror image. And for example, here another uh, motor image it has. Uh, you have a, a queue. Um, this cross is for prepare uh, that uh, it arrives the order. Uh, here they say that uh, you must to try to imagine, imagine to move to move the red hand, uh, the right hand. And here the uh, is the feedback. You can see with without feedback or with feedback. In this case, it it needs to uh, real-time analysis. Um, now I I will present some uh, different software tools for uh, psychological research. There are a lot of them. Uh, the more common are ePrime, Sigopy, and uh, six toolbooks. But in the past, experiment or presentation were very uh, common, and Open Sesame is uh, is um, is uh, starting to to has I mean, uh, a lot of in, uh, relevance in this case. Um, then I I will compare these two kind of uh, software solution. This is the the more use software solution and this is the but is is necessary to pay to to have the e prime at is very um extend on the clinical um on the hospitals and the psychopi uh, is an open open source solution that is uh uh is, is uh it has now it has a lot of uh a lot of use in this case uh when well, this is uh and survey that uh, some researchers performed in the year uh, 2014 uh, about the, um, the use of different kinds of uh, software tools and uh, how easy it is to create an experiment, how it is to uh, create an experiment and, and the satisfaction with, with these uh, different um, <laughs> softwares. And, um, in this case, what are the, the key points uh, to take into account when you are um, searching a software tools for, in this case? Uh, one of them is the flexibility, and it's the, it's the software uh, allows us to customize some different tasks, or even if it is closed and it, it, it's not possible to, to customize it. One more important is the time precision, uh, the developers of this kind of softwares uh, spend a lot of time um, in this in this issue. Uh, it's necessary; it's uh, mandatory to to ensure a precise timing of a stimulus presentation and user report response. Another important issue is the real-time feedback. Uh, this is, for example, very important in in BCI or neurofeedback uh, purposes. Uh, the accessibility and, reprodu and reproducibility of this uh, task uh, is also important. Uh, for example, in this case, Psychopy is an open source solution and it has a community uh, where uh, a lot of a lot of researchers um, present or give their own experiments uh, to the community. So this is also important. The multimodal uh, acquisition, um, if uh, it it can, could be used with different uh, hardware devices, uh, eye tracking system, or uh, different uh, devices for for uh, for taking the for obtaining the response. Uh, also, um, the compatibility with virtual virtual uh, environments. Uh, this is very important, uh, and this is related with the uh, gamification of uh, different tasks. If uh, if the software allows to adapt uh, or perform a personalized learning, in this case, the open source solutions are very are more 
uh, are more um, suitable for this kind of, uh, of task because the the private private uh, so, uh, softwares are not uh, this this kind this adaptation is not it's not uh, very is uh, I'm sorry it's it's, it's not um, allowed and then uh, if it could manage large uh, collection of data this of then all all of softwares uh, can manage, can can assume this 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 key point. So I I perform a summary comparing these two main solutions, E Prime and Sigopy. Um, I will start with the pros uh, for E Prime. Uh, it's a commercial uh, um, a commercial product, so it has an excellent technical support. Okay. Uh, the interface is very uh, user friendly and for beginners is very uh, it's a very it's a, a, a good key point um, the design support is very easy and uh, if you have some doubts you can um, um, check the technical support and uh, it uh, it's the solution with connectivity with different eg equipment and Functional magnetic resonance uh, equipment is uh, is I think that is the best is the best of uh, the solution. Uh, they ensures the less uh, time accuracy and in this case for this reason, for example, for magnetic resonance image is the is the um, the the option more more used. About the cons of the drawbacks of the prime, uh, it requires a, a paid uh, license. Um, is uh, less flexible or no flexible because um, the customization is is uh, the, the customization options are, are very few. There are few customization options, and uh, is closures. So the it's not possible to access to the code. Uh, so for this reason, it's not uh, possible to to perform some customization. Uh, regarding the Cicopy, it's, it's free and open, open source. It's high customizable. Uh, you can perform as you want. Uh, uh, then it's uh, the important thing is that, that I explained uh, before. It's uh, you want uh, the, the 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 experiment that you have this uh, design. It's uh, useful or not useful, but you can do uh, as you want. Um, there are a very large and activity community uh, and there are a lot of tutorials uh, there are a lot of uh, forums uh, in order to ask some questions so uh, this this uh, activity community could uh, be compared with this technical support of the of the prime and it's a close path uh, it has a close platform compatibility it's, uh, it's suitable for windows for linux and for mac uh, e prime is only for windows for example uh, about the drawbacks uh, the learning curve is uh, is higher than than e prime and it's um, less precise than e prime is uh, they say that it's improving on this point uh, they they are uh, um, uh, wasting a lot of the, uh, resources in this in this in this in this part, improving the, the time issues. But uh, now uh, is uh, is uh, it is a reality. <clears throat> and another current potential tools that are increasing in the right now is open exam that is a uh, an upper uh, an upper a free option as well. And it's better it's better than Cicopy to for the beginners. Uh, it's um, the the learning curve is 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 lower, and for example, another uh, novel uh, option that is Lab Builder, that is a cloud-based platform. So in this case, it's not necessary to to install uh, any any software in your PC because you you can uh, design the experiment on the cloud. But this kind of this this software or this um, this cloud-based uh, platform is only for basic experiments in right now. They say that uh, they will improve, but uh, right now it's for, for basic experiments. 
<clears throat> uh, the team, the timing performance is a key point in the in in when we are uh, uh, taking into account the software tools. And there are some recent um, there are recent paper that uh, has conducted uh, behavioral experiments in different software platforms and in different uh, operat operat um, operating system. And they they the result the best timing is um, the Cico Toolbox, Cico Pi presentation, and E Prime uh, has precision under one millisecond. So uh, they say that uh, all all of the four achieve the the restriction that is uh, planned. Um, regarding the, the operating system, Ubuntu uh, show the best scores. Uh, regarding the um, the, um, the scores across operating system, Sicopi uh, and another kind that is Gorilla um, has the, the particularity of uh, maintaining these good scores across different uh, platforms. So it is a, it's a good point as well. And um, and there are uh, online software that is the, in the in the cloud. Cloud cloud softwares uh, will uh, are increase, and in the future, it, the uh, very soon, it will be a, a good option. Um, in this case, I will uh, introduce the Cicopy, uh, but. Uh, uh, in order to to give uh, them some more easier, we are planning. I I will explain um, directly a task. In this case, we uh, I I will uh, perform this task. Uh, um, is the the task uh, that including the offner. Um, uh, of, of the paper, upper limb movement can be decoded from the time domain low frequency EG. And this, uh, regarding the, the computerized um, information, uh, it says that we have uh, a cross, a fixation cross, and a beep, a sound. Two, two seconds before, uh, it, it is a random, it's a, two seconds in average before. Uh, it appears one of these pictograms, and they indicate that if um, they want um, elbow extension, elbow supination, a hand, hand gripping, and this this kind of uh, of, brain, of of motor um, motor issues. It, so uh, it appears at uh, the second two on average because it's a, a, a random interstitial time is random. And then you must to uh, perform the movement. Okay. In the paper, they say that uh, the tasks were composed by ten runs with uh, forty-two trials by run. In this case, there are the each one of their uh, six times plus the condition of uh, sorry plus um, the resting state, doing nothing. Okay. There are. In, there are seven conditions, these six conditions, and uh, another one that is no, uh, um, that do, do not nothing. So uh, we can, we, I propose to uh, perform this, this kind, to, to replicate uh, quickly uh, this, this, this task. So, uh, this case. I don't know what is what is my mouse here. Okay. Here ah uh, no. Ah, lo tengo que arrastrar. Okay. But here uh, we have the um, uh, the Cicopy program. Uh, this is the uh, the um, the module, the, uh, the module interface, because you can use Cicopy all by code, vale? but this is the, uh, the, the, the easier way to, to enter to, to Cicopy. Uh, here, 
we can we can see the flow. So we can insert a routine, for example, a new routine, and we can say, for example, introduction. Okay, and we decided to to uh, to add this uh, new um, uh, here or here, for example, was it the introduction or the uh, a welcome? I can I introduce here. Then, uh, for example, I introduce a routine that is the cross of fix section, no fix section, section cross. Okay, I introduce in there. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, maybe it's for for the. Ah, okay. Uh, the cancel insert. Sorry. Fixation. Vale. Okay. So we have an introduction, then the fix section, and then the uh, the trial that is the the image that we we would like to to perform. So um, what we need, we we would like to repeat this kind of uh, um, we would like to repeat uh, this behavior, the fix section and the trial, forty two times. Oh, so we can. Uh, the mouse is, uh, I don't know where is the mouse, oh, here. So we introduce a loop and I say a loop from here to here. And this loop, I, I, I can say a loop trials. Now I I don't I don't um, indic uh, change any parameter of this of this field. Then I uh, I will I will change. So here we have the the loop. But the task says that there are ten runs. There are forty two trials and then ten runs. So I insert here insert routine and I say uh, pause. Pause. In order to uh, between run and run, it's necessary to, to have a, a pause, and then when the user is ready, uh, start again the new uh, the new run. So here we introduce a, a pause, and then we need to introduce a new loop from here to here. In this case, it's the loop uh, runs or blocks. Okay, and finally, I can in introduce a routine. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, and this there. So that's all. Is the our first uh, computerized task. Now it's necessary to um, to fill all these blocks. So the introduction. In this case, uh, we will, for example, uh, select a text, and you can say, uh, "Welcome to this uh, workshop. It's our first task." Okay, uh, for example, this message, uh, we can show this, uh, this text for four seconds. And it starts uh, at, at the, um, at the uh, when, when this module uh, with this routine uh, is executed, it starts uh, when at the same time. Uh, there are no, no latency or no gap between the, the start of this uh, module and the start of this text. So here, appear that we have a text for four seconds so we start we enter on this loop and we uh we will um define the fixed section so here the fixation remember there are a cross and there are a sound okay so here we introduce a cross 
I don't remember the duration, but uh, the interstimulus uh, separation and two seconds, so uh, one second or even, even do, do you remember the one second? Vale, one second. But in this case, uh, this cross, um, if, if we live there, this cross was very, very small. So uh, here we can, uh, I don't remember on, we can, here, letter H. For example, we can uh, make bigger this, this letter. But on the first step, we can, we can see a, 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 a small cross, but it doesn't matter because then we can improve there. The next, I ah, and the sound, ah, sound. One second as well, and in this case, it's necessary to indicate what's the sound. And I, I will, uh, I have prepared it as well, of course. Ah, na, 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 na. ah no, no, it's not here. Ah. No. Um, I don't know where is the bit. Uh, I don't remember where I leave the sound. Okay, don't doesn't matter. No sound <laughs> because I I don't remember where uh, where I I live there. So the next, uh, but if if you introduce a sound, it's the same uh, here, and this is the the sound. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, not a name. I live there. Then uh, we can define the trial. I sorry, I I forget. Well, no, it, it's okay, but. I forget uh, one thing. The trial, in this case, is an image, okay? And this image has a duration of five seconds, and this image is, I have this image in this, uh, uh, here, no. Vale, I have this image, but, which image I, I can select? One of them. If I select there, always up appears the hand. Always, always, always. We need to define a mechanism to alternate between this kind of image. Oh, so in this case, we leave this field uh, empty. And then we we will uh, 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 fill loop trials. In this case, uh, here it appears uh, an iconus in order to create a table. So if I vale, it appears there. It appears there, and in this table, uh, the mouse is so happy. Uh, in this table, you can indicate the path. Okay. The path where. I have the motor image. So, uh, as we have defined this um, this experiment in this in this folder, okay, and I have the image in another in another folder. It's, in, it's necessary to say to introduce to introduce the folder. Motor uh, image underscore underlast and the name of this uh, task, for example, elbow extension point yota. So here, here, here. 
Uh, in this case, I have prepared it. Uh, no guardar. So I have select. Vale, this template, and in this case, this template is there. We have seven emats for hand pronation, from hand supination, elbow fraction, elbow station, hand open, hand close, and rest. So we can follow two strategies. If uh, we have for, uh, 42 trials. If you have, if you want to, uh, sorry, if you uh, if you want that the um, the trial was a random selective over the 42 uh, possible uh, uh, ima image, it's necessary to define 42 uh, image. Okay, in this case. The image was random selected in this in, in between between all of them. So in this case, it's possible that uh, hand close and hand close that uh, two hand close appear um, uh, followed one by by other. Okay. Another kind of option is that if you remove there, I saw it. Uh, burrar, burrar, burrar. Okay, if I remove there, I can define these seven movements, and I, I could indicate that this list of movements repeat uh, six times or seven times, I don't remember, six times. But in this case, it's not possible that two move, uh, two nuts uh, appear, um, um, one follow the other. So it depends on uh, your your requirements. Okay, I for example I could I could leave there. In this case, if I leave there, okay, this is the uh, okay, this is the document. In this case, it's necessary to indicate here six repetition. Okay, if I if I present the forty two uh, image. Here, the number of repetition will be only one. Okay, and what's the access of this um, list of images here? We can select sequential uh, or staircase, blah, 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 or ran uh, uh, random. So if we indicate random, uh, it was it select uh, one random between them. Uh, a ver, another kind of uh, in this case the number of runs is not necessary to param uh, to to indicate here cap uh, any condition because the number of runs is is the same in this case i decide to indicate here 10 runs and uh, the pose uh, we can introduce a keyboard response for example when when you finish uh, the the um, the pose, uh, press a space. Okay. So in this time, in this case, there are no duration. So here we have the key response, and there are no duration. And it's necessary to to include a text. And in this text, we can say um, uh, "be relaxed when you are ready." To start a new uh, run, press space. Okay, and the goodbye. Uh, it could be another another message. This is uh, more or less all okay, but um, here we have select. Ah, uh, sorry, the trials. Why? Uh, okay. We have uh, here we have select the Excel file, but the image, this image, is still empty. How can we select here the the image? Uh, it's necessary to 
go to the Excel file. Sorry. Uh, at this variable, I created this variable, kind, under last, motor, under last, image. So, uh, uh, okay, if you go to the trial here, you must indicate a uh, dollar kind under last, uh, I don't remember my memory is uh, motor image. <laughs> Thank you. Motor image. So in this way, they select the variable indicated uh, in the in the Excel file. Okay. And I, I forget to include the interstimulus time between them, between the fixation and the trial. In this case, uh, it appears a fixation and uh, immediately it appears the, the trial. So uh, in this case, we can insert here a new routine, for example, that we can say easy. I introduce her here, vale? or we can remove there and in the trial we can modulate and this this uh, image does not start at the time zero it starts for example at the time two or well, one duration plus one at the time one so there are a gap here it appears a gap okay uh, i don't know if all is okay uh, uh, I hope that uh, I don't forget anything. Uh, um, so if we launch. I think that no no good news eh? because when we need uh no i'm sharing the the screen on the meet uh recording so maybe uh for this reason it's uh it's uh it does not not work and then i can i can show then if, if it's work finally i would like to uh, to indicate uh, one the last the last uh point uh we have uh, in order to design a, a motor cortical task or another compu computerized task it's necessary to prepare all the folders with all the necessary files, the image, the sound, the, all, all of this. Um, go to the CCOPY or another software uh, in order to, uh, to define the desired flow. Uh, then uh, it's necessary to, des to design this routine or loop option to fill all the parameters. And the last, but, <laughs> but all, one of the more important uh, things we we haven't performed here is to define the synchronization mechanism between this experiment and another equipment for example uh the the unicorn cask or another uh eg electron program or for a magnetic resonance image so in this part is where psychopi is slightly uh more complicated than another kinds of uh another Skype from software because it is necessary to, sorry. To use this, um, this, uh, this tool that is, uh, in this case, it's, it's not difficult, eh? 
but uh, it's necessary to define some uh, some routines to perform before the experiment, begin the routine, it's frame, so it's trial uh, at the end of the routine and at the end of the experiment. For example, if if it's uh, it's time that a uh, image appears, uh, give a synchronization to the uh, EEG equipment to to know the exactly temporization of this of this image. Uh, for example, in this case, it's necessary to uh, so to perform some operation on the each frame uh, operation. To open the serial port uh, in order to communicate between the equipments for in this case, we perform this before before the experiment. The, in the, we open the ports, then uh, we uh, define some dictionaries, and then uh, each frame sent. So thank you very much. Um, I think this 15 minutes uh, last. But if you have some question, uh, if not, uh, we can go to the <laughs> to the coffee break. Thank you.